So in this lesson, we're going to be simplifying an expression by subtracting and or adding radicals. Okay? So we're going to treat the radicals as a variable. Like look at what, uh, as a variable, right? So when we add expression with variables, we need that the variables be the same. So it's the same way here, right? So in this case, I have 3 times the square root of 5 minus 1 square root of 5. So the only way that I can add those two values is that everything here, the square root, index, and radicand are the same. So in this case, I have a negative 3 minus 1, so it's negative 4, square root of 5. The square root of 5 doesn't simplify, so we're going to leave it there. Next one. So again, I have a negative square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3. The radicands, the radicals are exactly the same. So that means that I have a negative 1 plus 2 square root of 3 is 1 square root of 3, so just the square root of 3. The next one, so I, again, I am going to look for like terms. So this two are like terms. So negative 2 square root of 2 plus the square root of 6, right? Because I have 2 minus 1. And there's no way of simplifying. There's something else that I need to check. But the 6, I cannot simplify it. So that expression is going to stay right there. Next one. So for example, this one. So I have negative square root of 6, right? Minus. In this case, the 54, I can simplify because 54 I can write as 9 times 6, right? So negative square root of 6 minus the square root of 9 is 3, square root of 6. And now that I have the same radic uh, radicand, the same radicals, I can just add them. In this case, it's negative 4, square root of 6. The next one, 3 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 4 times 3. So 3 square root of 3 minus 3, the square root of 4 is 2. So 3 square root of 3 minus 6 square root of 3. And 3 minus 6 is negative 3 square root of 3. So this one I can start by adding. So 5 square root of 12. Now I have to simplify that 12, so 5 square root of 4 times 3, so 5 times the square root of 4 is 2, so 10 and square root of 3. Okay, so this one, on this case, let's start by simplifying both, so negative 3 square root of 4 times 6 plus 3 square root of 9 times 6, so negative 3 square root of 4 is 2 square root of 6 plus 3. The square root of 9 is 3, square root of 6. So negative 6 square root of 6 plus 9, square root of 6. Negative 6 plus 9 is 3, square root of 6. So this one, minus 3. Again, this is 9 times 6. So negative 3 is square root of 6 minus 3 times 3. So negative 3 is square root of 6 minus 9 square root of 6. So this is negative 12 square root of 6. Now this one, as you can see, it's a little bit different because now I have cubes right here. So it's this cubic root. So I'm going to start by simplifying this one. So negative 3, cubic root of 3 times of 4. That one doesn't simplify. Let's see this one. So 48, let me use here another color. So 48 is 16 times 3 is 8 times 2. So this is 2 times 4, 2 and 2. So I have 1, 2, 4 and 3, right? So that means that I have a group of 2s. Right, so that means that I can factor out a 2 here, and I have the cubic root of 2 times 3 is 6. Right. So 162. So 162, I can simplify it as 2 times 81. I get 9 times 9, 3, 3, 3, and 3. So that means that this is the same as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 2. So I have one pair of threes right here. That means that I'm bringing it out right here. 
I'm bringing out a 3. It's this one. Now I'm bringing out a negative 3. Why negative? Because this inside of here is negative. And it comes from this triple right here. And inside of the cube root, I have that 6 from 3 times 2 down here. So negative 3 cube root of 4 minus 6 cube root of 6 minus 9 cube root of 6. Now, these two are like terms. So negative 3 cube root of 4 minus 15 cube root of 6. Okay, I'm going to start by simplifying. So 2. 18 I can simplify as 9 times 2. Plus 3 is square root of 2. Minus 2 is square root of 9 times 5. So negative 2 times 3. Square root of 2 plus 3. Square root of 2 minus 2 times 3 square root of 5. So negative 6 square root of 2 plus 3 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 5. So this is negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3 square root of 2 minus 6 square root of 5. And that's it for this lesson. May the force be with you.